So what do you, what's your final thoughts on this before this goes? I can't do joysticks. Yeah, neither can Thomas G, so, yeah. Who, oh, Thomas? Yeah, and I can't either. Uh, I'm not I, there as good. I, well, I can't get the feel for the machine with the joysticks. It basically, it tends to want to, it tends to want to Mustang up on me, just like what. Yeah. She wants to jump sometimes. She bounces, bounces real bad. It's because we ain't used to joysticks. No, if I was used to joysticks, it'd be a different story. How long have you been running a foot and stick? Ever. Yeah, every machine we've ever owned, so. Probably close to 25 years. Okay, now what's your other thoughts on it? It's got plenty, plenty of power. 
it does everything but, you need to do yeah um oh yeah i know as i say in the, the machine itself I, it's a fine machine fine machine if i was going to order one though just like i say i would get foot and stick plain and simple because you get it you got a lot better feel for everything you're doing yep what do you feel about the cab oh i got cabs it's too nice it is too nice ain't it oh yeah we can do a little bit more with the air conditioning yeah, there. Air, I think yeah. there, I think there's a little trouble with there, and this on thing, this machine, this thing's got to have that zero in it because you see there ain't much. There ain't dust no in dust it. in the inside of it. And so it's basically. And look at the back of it. <laughs> yeah, so I know damn good and well it's it's there's something there that basically it's got one of those zero because that the inside of that machine is clean as a pen. I like your air ride. Why well, didn't know it done that? Yeah, it's an air ride. It's got an air pump in there. The joystick controls on here, I could come near to getting used to them on this Bobcat than anything else. Than that Mustang that I had that time. Which is a Takauchi. And the Takauchi. Yeah, because yeah. it basically would just throw you around. This one here, you can you can control it basically with that snail button. Yep. And, I mean, also, that, and also you can adjust your speed. adjust your adjust your speed right here on that snail button. Yep. So basically as I say, it does a lot for you. Basically, get high and low, and you hit that snail button, and then you can adjust your speed. And then right. when you're mowing, you can set your machine to your speed and how you want to mow with it. Yep. LED lighting on it. Oh, yeah. I didn't get to run under the lights, though. I did last night. They were bright. To say that they're, they're actually brighter than our LEDs. This, well, yeah. Well, this, well, it ought to. They're clear, they're clear lens to look at them. Yep. And so, uh, yeah. There's a hell of a lot more of them, too. The design's completely different. Hey, like the lower door in it. Didn't get in out of it much. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. But, but foot, let's put it this way, foot pedals, if anybody thinks them foot pedals is what makes your knees sore, mm -hmm. it is not. I think it's where you brace yourself. When you hit something or yeah. push when you bounce or down. And you hold yourself, I think it's where you brace yourself. Now this, this new cast, ar cast arm design is different. Mm -hmm. I've never seen nothing quite like, this here's cast steel, and you got a haul of tube welded to it. So that's different. The di it's got a different bob attached. That's out of the cast as well. I feel like it's a lot stronger. I feel like you can push more with it, a lot more open. Um, uh, I guess for, we, for the size of machine it is. Oh yeah, it's got plenty. It's of got every bit of power. It's R320. I feel. Oh my gosh, I never noticed that before. It can almost look. Look how far your rails are out in front of your your braces. Yep. And here's your cab list right here, and this whole, I mean, this is a big hole in here. I we was at the shop and watched them open the it's cab. a lot more accessible. Yeah. Um, now, this is a feature that most people, I don't know how they're going to feel about it when they see it, but it's going to the inline motor. I feel like it's more accessible. It's better to get to the fuel tank if you ever had a problem with it. Um, it does have a reversing fan. As we want. This is so dusty back here because that fan's always blowing in reverse keeping crap out of the radiator and uh, you can hear it switch directions every now and again um i don't know how i feel about the back door with the cooler and especially with with us in the woods and trees um, i feel like i may drive something into that but they did do a dual mesh here they got a mesh screen and then your your angle slats which you'd have to almost hit something pretty freaking hard to get them to do any damage too bad well the, any, people can freaking tear they can tear up an handle yeah, um, it does have the backup camera, and I love that thing. Oh, it's like way too nice. Yeah, the new arm design and stuff, I like where the stack's at. It kind of, it's made it a lot more open, I feel, back here. It's a quiet machine, wide open. You can't really, really hear it running, besides with the backup arm going. Uh, it's about the time, only time you hear it. Um, they went to a cast iron. It looks like a, this here's all cast here, it looks like, on the back. It's a lot different different ours of course but uh, easier to get to the hoses and your hydraulic fill um, this does have the narrow tracks and I think that was his complaint was the yeah, it didn't seem like it had quite the traction that I'd like to have yeah and joystick control this seem like they don't you can't tell when they're pushing hard and when they're not pushing hard um, but we put 20 hours I think on this machine this weekend I'd say and it it, it, let me tell you, it, it'll outperform anything out there. Uh, as far as the machine, this is outdoing everything that's out there. Um, Bobcat went way beyond anybody, in my opinion. Um, they just they they they, they completely rechanged the, the skid steers. Um, 
It's also got, there's the cab filter. When you shut that door, buddy, I mean the dirt wire. just flew. It's got a low pressurized cab, like we said, the dirt not getting in there. That's where all the dirt goes. Two speed, automatic track control. Don't break nothing. Yeah, that's a little filter. Yep, that's your cab filter. Yep. Hmm. Let's get in off, dude. We're gonna. We gotta get this thing a bath because we got her pretty dirty this weekend. It's a little dusty here at the farm. Um, so yeah, I just feel like this machine is just completely revamped the skid steers. I don't think like, there ain't too many people can touch what this is. I mean, the inside cab layout's way different than anybody I've ever seen. I sit in different ones, sitting cats, sitting deer, sitting Takuchi, Kubota, Case, Gale, sitting them all, and they are not laid out as well as this machine is. Um, the machine's just completely redesigned. It's nuts um, how much they've really changed these, especially for over the years. You set that next to R320, and I, I feel like the power wise, it really ain't that much different I'm than 320. Prejudice. Yeah, and we're prejudiced in, in most cases on this. Um, but So, yeah, that's our thoughts on the T76R series. Hope y'all enjoy the videos. I just got some little clips of it running. I didn't get a lot of it running, but I did get some. Um, so anyhow, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. So we're going to do the inside of the T76. Uh, let's run through the joysticks here. Um, you got high and low. And you got rabbit or um, <clears throat> snail speed. You can adjust your speed. You hit that and it says speed activated. And then you can hit the rabbit. To make it go up higher or you can go down lower or you can set it the way you want it when you're mowing and you turn it off it says deactivated and all that and you got your different hydraulic um functions on here same here as your float button um you got um, auto ride which is your booms and like a shock absorber um i think the fan i'm almost certain the fan runs in one direction then it switches directions when it feels like it's getting full and tight with dirt because the whole back of the machine would just get filthy dirty because it blow it back up out of the radiator so i think it it has an automatic reversing fan but i i don't know what quite what that there does i don't know if you can turn it on or turn it off um your bucket bucket floats when you pick it up <clears throat> it stays level and what was cool is that when you take it down it levels itself out so that's pretty daggone cool winch wiper winch wiper fluid bob catch up bob catch down uh, pretty simple layer, a lot of air vents, air I'd see, <coughs> a lot of the air vents in this sucker. And then you got your, um, of course, your start button, you know. Unlock hydraulics to run it, your auxiliaries, your lights, your ISO to H pad, and your throttle. And then this here is all your radio control. Turn it up. This is the radio. And you can hit and control your touch screen with that thing there. You can go to your home or you can go to, let's see if it'll do it, you go to your camera. It does a whole screen with a camera on there. That's pretty daggone cool. Um, you can go to your phone. So you can get on, just in case you're working or something. This thing's got really good audio too. Um, when you talk to people on the phone, you can just go on here and say you gotta call somebody, you call somebody. It's got really good audio. I caught a few people out of um, the excavator last time it was here. And you, go, you hit the home button here and it goes right back to your home page. And then you can run through all that stuff again. And here's a cool thing, your service codes. So this thing, I'll turn it down before I get copyrights. Uh, this thing here records everything. Like if the door's open, it's got a bucket sensor, no communication, which um, Dad thinks... It, he had something like a stick or a rock or something between the bob attach and it it just lost communication but now it, it's working fine but um you can go in here we had the oil this thing tells you when the oil level is low and it wasn't even that daggone low it went back there and it was just underneath the little bubble the top bubble but it tells you the code to look up and stuff and the, the service guys can look at it up i mean it's slick it's slick um, a lot of door opens, a lot of door opens, fuel low and stuff, um, that's probably when it was in the factory, and we probably got it when it was about two hours old, I'd say, so that's pretty daggone cool, and then you go into your attachments, you can set up your different attachments, you know, if you got a 
grader blade you can set up all your you know this is tool tips of how to use this stuff you know your different sensors and I mean it's just amazing Chris Bay, wheel saw trencher, laser grader, HD, your pusher. And you got all your settings and stuff. Of course, you got to have your daggone settings. Machine settings, security settings, operator statistics, job clocks, you know, all that stuff. Um, so that, that's pretty daggone cool. And then all your gauges and stuff. It's all touchscreen digital. Uh, so I think that's pretty daggone cool from Bobcat. Um... So anyhow, that's this my rundown of the R Series T76. I personally love this machine. It's it's laid out, I mean, better than any of them. Um, it's good. the The layout of it's is ten times better. the The service building one's crazy. It's nice to get to everything. You drive motors, you can get to the hoses on it. You can get to all your grease irks without having to get up on the tracks and stuff to get up in there. I mean, a lot more accessibility in my opinion. Um, but I think Bobcat really doubted it themselves on this machine. I'm, I'm truly excited and truly happy they did this. Um, it was a great opportunity to get to try one out. Hopefully we'll uh, get the bigger one, which is a T86. And I've seen sneak peeks of that from Con Expo, looks like. And then they got the T66 and T64s are out now, so we'll be getting a few of those in probably. And you'll be able to see some videos on those. I'll do some walk-arounds that, which is just a smaller version of this one, but still pretty cool nonetheless. So anyhow, subscribe, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Um, be a lot more videos to come. Uh, y'all been great. And uh, y'all stay safe, stay healthy, and stay cool because it's hot. So yeah, catch y'all later.